Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. This is a Jewelet toaster. Let's see if we can find a model number. It's a D4BMHA toaster. 40355 is a product code, 230 volt, 2.2 kilowatt, made in Sussex in England. And I was uh, on the lookout for a toaster like this, hand built by Liam, because apparently they are infinitely, or well, to some degree, repairable. And toasters generally, as you'll have seen in my other videos, are not. And you can try and fix them, but they tend not to lend themselves to it. Modern ones anyways. But these jewelets, they're meant to be repairable. And, and by repairable, you can buy the timer, you can buy the switch, and you can buy, you can buy replacement elements. This one has a toast tray down the bottom. It's missing one of the handles on the toast, or the crumb tray, I should call it. It has this lever on the front, and what that does is lifts and lowers these metal tabs inside and they release the toast or lift the toast. The timer is just a mechanical countdown timer so that'll buzz now until it gets to the end of its cycle. There we go and it has a switch two slices and four slices I'm guessing. You can see me there in the shiny chrome. Two slices on the left, four on the right. It's got a warning here that it's hot. It says unplug after use fire risk on the knob and the knob just pulls off. It's a standard type of knob. It seems to be all made out of pretty standard parts like the switch, the timer, everything on the outside face it has self-tapping or apparently self-tapping posi head, raised posi head screws. Uh, it's got a sheet of aluminium on the bottom, the feet are held on with what looks to be the same kind of screws. Which is all, you know, it all speaks to this um, repairability thing. I found it today on the street, it was left out for scrap, it has a plug on it. A Jewelet plug with it, it has a little, um, little sticker there over the screw. So the screw is in this, so you have to break that seal. It's, kind, it's not a hologram, but it's kind of silvery. It says it's a fused plug, it's a standard UK plug should comply with BS 1363, so it's a fused plug. Attended appliance, unplug after use, fire risk, fused. That's quite a bizarre thing to see on a plug. Unplug after use, fire risk, I've never seen. So let's get into it. So what I'm looking for today, given that I found it on the street, is any signs of a problem internally. And of course, because it's a posi screwdriver, I should just use the electric one, it's far faster. Ooh, it bounces straight off. So it's a bit sticky, but that's just from toast, I guess. When I found it today, it was wet, and that's metal. It's all metal so far. A lot of modern toasters are plastic. These are what look like cast aluminium or some kind of aluminium ends on it. Aluminium base, little bits and bobs in between. No obvious way to get to the elements. I can see looking down into it, which may or may not be visible from above. Elements have screws at the bottom. Let's try and get the bottom off and have a look in there. No, that's better. That's what I want to see. So I didn't need to take the top off at all. So looking in here, it's a bit crummy. Over on the left, we've got a black cord. It's the power coming in. It's got brown and blue, live and neutral, or line and neutral. Blue remains neutral throughout, and red is the positive, or the line. Now I can already see in here there's brown marks on the electrical timer, which looks like rust. And again, rust here and here, a bit of rust and corrosion. So it looks like it might have spent a while out in the rain. So with the bottom off, my plan is to do some continuity checks, because I want to check each of these elements. And then I want to check the timer to see if it's got continuity and how it's got continuity. Um, shouldn't have any continuity when it's off, but when it's on, how that works. So let's see. Oh, and over here in this corner. In that corner there, there's a little temperature switch there, a little safety feature, I guess. So let's just set this to resistance. There's the two and the four slice. So. Your neutral bus is the same the whole way across and coming from further down in here there's the two and the four slice feature so you've got two slices it's on this side I guess so you're going, you're going from I don't know which are the first two slices to become live it's quite peculiar because they're a funny toaster in that the end pieces the end elements are different to the three in the center the three in the center have an element on each side 
but the end element only has the uh, element on one side because the toast is only in between. So it appears to be that for the two slice, it's this one here to this one here with two brass buses in between or connectors in between if you want to call them that, which means that there'll be half a slice getting toasted over here wastefully until you activate this one here which gives you four slices and heats both sides of this, which is a bit peculiar. Hmm. Okay, let's see what happens if we take the plug. Let's test through from the beginning. Take the plug, see what happens, live and neutral. Nothing, good. Uh, live to live. Are getting anything there? No, oh, do it further down to the live in. Yep, okay, and neutral to neutral. Yes, so let's then check neutral to neutral out of the switch. No, it looks to be a double pole in that case. Let's try turning it on. We're getting live to live. And we're getting neutral to neutral. So that suggests, if we get a better view of this. So that suggests that the timer switch is working. Looking in here at the two to four slice switch it's way down in there it has a neutral line coming to it that's this blue one and then it has a live coming to it that's this one and then out of that it has this live so i think whenever the machine's on this live over here going over to the center is always live when 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 the toaster's on when the timer's on and then if the four, fourth slice is activated it activates this so that's what i thought earlier on so it does look like you're always wasting a little bit of heat if you're making that extra slice. Okay, so how can I check these elements? Well, let's keep going. We know that the timer's working now. Let's go from here to here. And that's it on the four slice option. And turn off the to the two slice. Bizarrely, we're there on a two slice. That shouldn't quite be. So could the two and the four slice switch be knackered it could could be the reason why this is thrown out this is what i'm looking for really in this process i'm looking for the reason this thing's been tossed onto the street could be that two and four slice switch but the switch does make the right noises so so what may be happening is that the, the resistance or the continuity is just running through all the elements and back out through the neutral to the switch that doesn't make sense maybe but let's just remove the neutral here and see if that makes a difference so putting the probes live to there we're getting something it's on two slices at the moment so i don't think we should so it looks like that switch may be a dud okay so we're getting continuity there i've removed the live and the neutral from the timer so i'm getting some continuity there which suggests to me that the elements are working although it suggests that one of the elements is working it doesn't mean that they're all working so because of the way it's connected, it suggests that only one of the elements is working to pass the current across from live to neutral. Doesn't mean they're all working. I'm not sure how I can check. I guess I could take it apart, which is kind of what I might enjoy doing, so I might do that. It looks like the elements are just held in place by these two screws here. So if I take them off, we might be able to get access quite quickly. Let's see if this does it. Yeah. Little socket screwdriver. This is that's a, a 4BA size, and I presume, given that it's made in England, it probably is 4BA rather than like they are. Um, they do look like BA type nuts. So, with that off, let's push this back. I wouldn't even need to remove them. Whoa, that's designed for maintenance, all right. Just need to loosen them, which is quite clever. Let's put them back on then for safekeeping. Okay, then we can lift that up. So, to do that, then we need to remove these two screws here and this one so the suspicion at the moment is that this toaster does work maybe not on all elements and that it may have a broken switch meaning that all four slices get toasted at the same time so there's washers galore here tuck that cable out of the way and these ones too let's try Try to remove this element. Okay, there it is. Let's get the toaster out of the way. 
here is the element cluster. And this one, it actually appears to have elements on both sides of each one, which is not what I was expecting. So to check this, I think I do need to remove everything. So it's, it looks to have like a sheet of mica or many sheets of mica. They're quite complicated actually, looking at it now. Way more complicated than the simple ones I've seen. So it's a dualit element, 230 volt, four end. Okay, so it's a four part and that's the end piece. So I wonder what makes the difference between a mid and an end. Maybe we'll find out. They're a bit grim looking in the middle. I priced these on eBay, it's 20 quid for a new set or tw just over 20 quid. Well, let's go for it. Let's start breaking it down. A few snapshots there so I know which screws go where because they are a bit different. So let's take let's take off an end one first. Given all the design for maintenance that they've done, it's a wonder they didn't have spade connectors on the element. You have to screw them on, which is a bit peculiar. Okay, so here's an element free, an end element, I'm guessing. And here the end the other end element doesn't say end on the outside, so I'm not entirely sure what the difference is there. Okay. Let's try continuity. Yep, yeah, looks like that'll make toast. That's a good start. So then I only need to remove this center fixing and the other end because the current can't flow without that. So I'll take this one off and do some more tests. They're all a little bit green, but the green seems to be, oh, it does look moist in there. I guess they'll might need a bit of of drying out time and I don't think drying them out by turning on the toaster is the way to go. A blast in the oven might do it. Okay so I've got the elements all stacked up the way they came apart. Let's try testing. So plate number one, the leftmost plate, we're getting continuity there so I presume it's working. Plate number two, continuity again. You can just see it there at the bottom. And the middle plate, number three, yep looks okay. Number four looks fine. And we've already tested the last one, but just for completeness, let's give it a go. And it's coming through as well. So it looks like this toaster might work and it might just have a dud switch, which is a kind of a simple switch to replace. It could just change it for an on off switch and write the numbers two and four or even scrape them into the paint. So I'll reassemble this and dry it out and then come back to this another day. So I've rebuilt the element. I guess what I'll do is I'll just leave it for a while to dry off and then give it another try. And given that this video is probably gonna be very long as it starts, this is gonna be part one of the Jula Toaster, in which I am quite impressed. So thanks for watching, see you later.